Foam Stars, the colorful third-person shooter from Square Enix, pits teams of foam cannon armed combatants against one another in a clash for supremacy. After many hours in the soap-filled trenches, we've put together these nine tips to help you become a force to be reckoned with on the bubbly battlefield. Unlike a game like Splatoon, where covering the arena in the team's ink color is what determines a winner, most modes in Foam Stars focus on eliminating the other team. You do this by covering your opponents in foam until they are fully saturated, trapping them in a ball of foam. A foamed up player can be eliminated by a slide kick from an opponent surfing on their slide board or rescued by a slide save from a teammate. This doesn't mean that covering the ground in friendly foam isn't a priority, however. You move faster on your slide board through foam set by your squad, and much slower on the enemy bubbles. That makes a significant difference when it comes to getting around the map quickly, and is especially important when it comes to player eliminations, where an extra few seconds can mean the difference between knocking the other team out or getting foamed up when backup arrives. Okay. Spraying foam on top of foam also causes it to accumulate into larger and larger piles. This has several great uses. Mounds of foam are handy for reaching higher elevations, they can act as solid defense structures, and the slope they form are great for accelerating your board as you surf away. It also takes much more foam from the other team to knock the pile down and reclaim that bit of terrain. Each of the eight playable characters have different strengths and weaknesses, and how you construct your team matters. A character like Agito excels in up-close combat thanks to his powerful foam shotgun, but isn't well suited to spreading a lot of foam around. Ravebreaker, on the other hand, can quickly cover large areas in foam with his spray hose, but is slower to bubble up enemies. A versatile team with participants that can do both of these things has a distinct advantage. Which characters are best also vary by the modes you select. In objective-based games like Rubber Duck Party or Squad Mission, it pays to have at least one person who can deploy turrets to hold key points, like tonics. For an elimination-focused game like Happy Bath Survival, you may be better off gravitating towards someone who combines mobility skills with a hard-hitting weapon like Jet Justice. During player selection, you can see which characters your squad mates are taking, so whether you're with friends or queuing in solo, you'll have a chance to make a strategic choice. Smash the Star is the primary PvP mode in Foam Stars. Two opposing sets of four players work to eliminate opponents until their player count reaches zero. When this happens, the top player from the team becomes the star player. The first team to take out the side star player is the winner. A star player has a lot more health than everyone else, and playing that role well is all about knowing when to play it safe and when to be aggressive. If your team is behind and doesn't have the other team's star player out, then it is probably best to hang back and focus on keeping the area around you foamed up while you fend off attackers. Once the other star player is out, however, a well-timed push can be exactly what you need to seize soapy victory. Just be careful not to overextend and end up surrounded and foamed up in enemy territory. Skills are like your special attacks. They let you do things like launch toboggan bombs as Penny Gwen or hide explosive traps in the foam with Rave Breaker. These recharge quickly, and you should take every opportunity to use them. Superstar skills are your ultimate attacks. These things take much longer to charge, but can devastate the other team when you do things like call in an orbital strike of foam as the Barista Door or run over the enemy team with Soa. You will typically only get one or two of these per match, so it's best to hold on and wait for the right moment, like when the other team is grouped up close together or you have a chance to knock out the other team's star player. Frothy as it is, Foam Stars is still a squad shooter at its core, and teamwork can make all the difference on the bubble field. Common strategies like team shooting, combining fire on a target with a buddy, are extremely effective. It also gives you the opportunity to alternate skill attacks, keeping your opponent on their heels with things like attack penguins and exploding shurikens of soap. Where this really shines is in eliminations and saves. You can't shoot and surf at the same time, so having one person fully bubble the enemies while the other knocks them down is great for rapidly taking out your foes. It's also great for setting up slide saves. A well-coordinated pair constantly saving one another can do major damage to the opposing squad without losing lives. 
There's much more to coming out victorious than good shooting skills. Movement and position are just as important. Actions as simple as strafing and jumping during bubble fights do a lot to make you a much more difficult target to hit. The overs. <laughs> Surfing can be your best strategy to close distances, escape enemies when you are close to being foamed up, and dodging effervescent explosions. It's also a great way to quickly reposition for an advantageous angle mid-fight, particularly if you are on top of your own team's foam. Some characters have skills that lean into mobility. Soa, for example, has the ability to launch herself high into the air while firing a stream of bubbles, while Agito can temporarily dive down and swim in the foam, making them exceptionally hard to target. Getting comfortable using those in the middle of a fight can help you dodge shots that would have hit other characters. The range at which weapons are most effective varies, and controlling that distance is one of the best ways to set yourself up to foam enemies. That's especially true if you can make like Obi-Wan Kenobi and seize the high ground. This makes it easier to line up shots and presents a more difficult line of sight for anyone trying to return fire. Bubble Gems are the system for upgrading playable characters and foam stars and tailoring them to your taste. The way it works is simple. You earn energy stones and convert them into bubble gems, which occupy one of three slots on the character. Each bubble gem will be randomly assigned an effect, like decreasing the cooldown timer on skills or boosting movement speed with a random tier ranging from E at the worst to S at the best. You can have three bubble gems in a set and three different sets to equip. They don't transfer from one character to another. The energy stones are earned by leveling up your player level. You get 25 stones every five levels, 25 at level five, 25 more at level 10, and so on. You can also earn energy stones by reaching the end of the free season pass. Every level from 41 on will add three more stones to your collection. You can reroll a bubble gem at any given slot, but just know that the energy stones you spent won't be refunded. Participating in the Foam Star or Squad missions will earn you Miracle Dust. This handy resource can be saved and used in the Upgrade Energy Core menu of the Foamy Lab. Here you can purchase buffs to various attributes, such as increasing shot power or decreasing movement speed. The boosts are only active in these missions, and up to 9 levels of upgrades can be purchased for each attribute. The only limit to the number of upgrades you can equip is the amount of Miracle Dust you have. The upgrades apply to any character you are using and get more expensive as you increase levels. You can reset the level of an attribute at any time, which returns spent Miracle Dust back to your inventory. This makes it easy to respec and fine tune until you find a build that you particularly like. Like many life service games, Foam Stars features daily and weekly challenges. These are well worth paying attention to thanks to the variety of prizes offered. Unlocking XP boosting items can help accelerate towards energy stones for bubble gems, and it's also a great way to unlock cosmetic items. There are banner icons and plates for each character to unlock, new titles to earn digital stickers, and cool new slide boards to be had. It's also how you can earn additional music tracks to listen to, new emotes, and more. As long as you're out there foaming up the competition any Anyway, you may as well earn a few rewards for your trouble. For more on Foam Stars, make sure to head on over to IGN.com to check out our growing Foam Stars wiki. And for everything else video games, stick with IGN.